Hi, I'm Jen with the Medicine Journal, and I'm here to talk to you today about sunburn and how sunscreen protects us from it. What exactly is sunburn? Well, medical terminology, it's called erythema, and in a basic sense, it's the redness of the skin brought on by dilation and congestion of the capillaries, and usually it indicates some sort of an infection or inflammation. The ultraviolet rays that cause sunburn come in two different forms, UVA and UVB. Like all electromagnetic radiation, they come in specific frequencies and they penetrate the skin at various depths. The damaging effects typically happen between 290 and 400 nanometers. UVB wavelengths don't penetrate the skin very deeply. However, it does cause a photochemical response which ultimately damages your DNA. This causes your body to trigger its immune system in several ways. One of those is to increase blood flow to your capillary beds through vasodilation and edema. Also, it causes cells to respond to help try to repair the damage. Your body then produces more melanin, which is your skin pigment, and all of this combined is what causes the redness that we often see with sunburn. Now, how does sunscreen work? It can work in two ways to protect you from UV wavelengths. Number one, it can absorb the UV wavelengths, or two, it can scatter and reflect them. Now, the makeup of your sunscreen will determine how well it protects you, and that's called the SPF, or the sun protection factor. The way that that works is if you would normally burn in about 10 minutes and you use an SPF of 15, you now can remain in the sun for about 150 minutes with the same effects. Additionally, a 30 SPF would allow you to remain in the sun for about 300 minutes. What many consumer watch groups would like people to know are there some misconceptions when you go to purchase your sunblock. Many people assume when they go up in SPF, they're going to have better block of UVB rays, when in reality, SPF of 15 blocks about 92% of UVB rays. If you go up to 30, you're blocking about 96.7, and if you go up to SPF 40, you're blocking only about 97.5. However, when you do increase your SPFs, you can remain in the sun longer. People also assume because it's called sunblock that it blocks all rays. In reality, most only block UVB. In order for a compound to be considered a true broad spectrum block, it needs to include organic materials associated with UVB absorption and inorganic materials associated with UVA reflection. Countless studies have shown that regular exposure to the sun will increase your chances for early aging as well as skin cancer. You might think the risk is minimal, but you might be wrong. There was a review published in 2014 that found that the UV wavelengths that are associated with indoor tanning beds account for two times as many skin cancer diagnoses as smoking does lung cancer. That's why the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Dermatology, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the World Health Organization have all called for a ban on tanning beds for children under 18. So the lesson here, people, is to avoid direct sun exposure, to avoid tanning beds, and to go in for that all-natural spray tan. It works for the Kardashians.